general relativity step by step. We've been talking about T alpha beta, the stress momentum tensor, energy momentum tensor. And if I write it in matrix form, we've got rho zero, where rho zero equals the rest density. And we've got all these other terms, and we don't really know very much about them at this point. No, 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 no. So that's T alpha beta. We've got the T zero zero component in, which is going to be rho zero, which equals the uh, uh, density, density. in the momentarily co-moving reference frame. But I need to work out what these question marks are here, so we need a proper definition for it. So the definition I'm going to go with is this. Let me just write it out. And that is the definition of this thing here. Defines this. Okay. So let me just take you through what all these things are. This is a small control volume. Small control volume. Or it's the volume of a small control volume, I guess. A little, little control volume. And this term here is the four momentum in a particular reference frame uh, contained in our small control volume. Uh, that's the thing we're defining there, T alpha beta. Remember, of course, it's summed over beta because we've got the Einstein summation convention. This thing here is a four vector that defines our control volume. This vector here, this vector is it, yes, it's the normal vector to delta v. Let me just explain what that means. If I've got uh, just an ordinary two-dimensional function, x and y, and I've got uh, contours, these are contours of f of x, comma y, then the normal to the contours there. This this little arrow here, this is the normal to the surface uh, defined as a particular level, a contour level, I guess, of f of x comma y. So we've got a little normal, and it's characterized by the fact that I've not drawn it particularly well, but my contour is supposed to Cross that normal at right angles. So this little vector here, this unit vector here, gives me a, um, gives me a direction which is normal to the control volume which I want to take. So I'll just give you a couple of examples of that. I'll just give you a couple of examples. Oops. Sorry, a little, a little glitch there. I'll just give you a couple of examples. Let's say I take my vector n to be equal to uh, 1. 0, 0, 0. And I want to take a dot product with that and t, x, y, z. And if it's normal, in the same way that this little arrow here is at right angles to that uh, little surface defined by the contour there, this equals 0, because that's my definition of normal normality. So that tells me that t equals 0, and it also tells me that x, y, z can be anything. Doesn't matter what they are, as long as t equals zero, I've got um, a dot product between my little normal vector n and my four vector here. Uh, the the dot product equals zero. So what that tells me is that my delta v can be z, uh, from. It can be the space defined by t, uh, x, y, and z, and then the other corner. That's the if I draw a little vector here. One corner could be this, and the opposite corner could be, well, t is equal to zero, so that's still got to be t. That can be x plus delta x, y plus delta y, and z plus delta z. 
because I can change x, y, and z, x, y, and z, I can change them as I like, and it still maintains the zero dot product. So what that tells me is that delta v equals a small three volume, three surface, I guess some people say, at a particular time. One particular time t. But of course I can choose other things for my n as well. Uh, I don't need to choose n equals this very, very simple case here. I can choose n to be equal to something like that as well. I could choose it to be anything I wanted. Uh, you normally consider just the normal, uh, uh, sorry, a unit vector here. But I can make that what I want. I just chose it to be like this, just to give us a nice, simple example. Let me just write down that equation again, because it's quite, it, there's quite a lot of meat on it. Delta P alpha equals T alpha beta n beta delta v. Okay, now then I can choose this. I can choose this. And I'm going to choose it. Well, I've already just casually chosen oops, 1, 0, 0, 0, just to make things easy. So I can choose this uh, to make things easy. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose different values of this normal vector here to be simple things, just to aid our understanding. But in the back of our minds when we're talking, I want to be sure, well, I want you to realise that we can replace that unit vector with a unit vector in any uh, any unit vector at all. OK, so what does it look like? Well, what have I got for my n beta? I've got n beta equals 1, 0, 0, 0. So that picks out beta equals 0. Uh, this argument here, beta, the only one that's non-zero is the first one, which is the zero, which is the zero component. So that tells me that delta p alpha equals, this is the four momentum in my control volume, t alpha zero, because that's the only one of this summation here that makes any difference. All the others are zeros and they drop out. So I've only got the zero component left, times delta v. So that tells me that t alpha zero equals delta p alpha over delta v, which equals the four momentum, by definition, the four momentum density. So now I'm in a position to start writing in some of my components. Remember that I said t alpha beta equals, and then all we had was, was rho here. Uh, in fact, we had rho zero here. Zero, zero, zero. Oh, no, not zeros. These were question marks. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question, 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 question. And here, question, 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 question. But now we know that alpha, beta, we know that T alpha zero equals the four momentum. Um, the four momentum term. No, actually it was rho, not rho zero, wasn't it? So it's rho, gamma, rho, gamma, u, rho, gamma, v, and rho, gamma. W. This is row zero here. And we don't know what these guys are yet either. Okay, so good start. I'm going to stop there. We've done one component of the stress energy tensor.